Your network uh, is your net worth. Leave your friends, bro. Your friends are bad people. They're dragging you down. You're a top 1% man. Leave your friends behind. Oh, by the way, I, I've got this community completely unrelated. It's a monthly subscri subscription. If you feel lonely, you can buy my community. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You don't see what they're doing? Stop listening to online gurus, influencers, whatever. You know, I'm part of them. Stop listening to such people telling you to leave your friends. Let me tell you something, man. Isolation is the worst thing you can do for your improvement in life, for your progress in life, for your self-development. Isolation. Isolating yourself from people is possibly the worst thing you can do. The reason it's so bad is because we are social creatures. We are meant to socialize pretty much all the time. Genetically. And if you don't have friends, because you're in, on improvement, you're a top 1% man, so you don't have friends, your mental health starts going down. And what happens when your mental health goes down? You go back to doing your shit habits. You're not consistent with your work. You're not consistent with your improvement journey. Isolation is the worst thing you can do for your discipline. Life starts being shit. You start feeling like shit because you're isolated, because you don't have friends. And then you don't improve. You don't move forward because you're not supposed to be isolated. You feel like you feel completely lonely. And now all you have as friends is people online giving you advice, watching videos. Stop leaving your friends behind because of some fucking online guru. Because I see these videos all the time. Leave your friends behind. They're not your friends. Listen, bro, this is bullshit. Now, is there scenarios where you should leave your friends? Of course. When should you leave your friends? If your friends are unsupportive, right? If you've, if you've gone on improvement, but they're making fun of you, or you've set goals in your life and they're making fun of you. Okay, leave them. Those are not your friends. If they don't respect you, they speak, speak behind your back. They don't really respect you much. Okay, leave them. If you can't trust them, maybe you've given them money and they've never given it back. Maybe they never pay, pay the bills at the bar or something. If you can't trust them, okay, fuck them off. These are not your friends. There are scenarios in which you should leave your friends because they're not really your friends. But in general, you shouldn't leave your friends just because your goals are not the same in life anymore. Goals in life change all the time. You evolve as a person. If you change your friends like a chameleon, then you're going to end up with no friends because nobody can trust a snake, someone who changes their skin every fucking time. He feels like it. And quite honestly, if you're the type of guy who has friends and those friends influence you to change your goals and your principles in life, you're a pussy anyway. If your friends influence you to change your goals in life, then you're probably getting influenced right now to change your goal by YouTube and by gurus. One day, bro, you're going to have a wife. And that wife, she's going to be speaking to you. She's going to be trying to influence you to make decisions. If you're such a liable man that other people can change your fucking principles just out of peer pressure, you're a fucking pussy and you will suffer in life because you stand for nothing. You need to be the type of guy who
who doesn't change his principles no matter the peer pressure. I have a go with my life. I have rules for how much work I'm supposed to be doing, my schedule. I'm not gonna fucking change that because of peer pressure. I'm not gonna miss my workouts or miss my work or change my goals because somebody else told me so. That's fucking bullshit. Doesn't matter if they're my friends, my future wife, my family or someone online. The only way I'm ever gonna change my principles is if I see that my current principles are false and I see a better version. That's the only way I'm going to change my principles. I am open to change, but I'm not going to change because of peer pressure. And you shouldn't either. So if you're the type of guy, you have friends, maybe you've gone on improvement, you've, you're starting to set goals, maybe you're drifting apart from your friends. But, you know, you want to leave your friends because you're getting influenced to do bad shit, then you're a pussy. Start setting, set some fucking boundaries. Say what is allowed and what is not allowed and adhere to that. That's it. You don't need to leave your friends. You don't need to isolate yourself. If you have a friend you can trust, you don't realize how rare that shit is. It's very rare. Not many people you can trust in this life, let me tell you. So no, don't leave your friends because you're on self-improvement. You're a top 1% guy. Don't leave your friends, bro. If you base your friendships around success and goals and grinding, then that's not friendship. That's a network. That's a colleague. That's an associate. It's not a friend. A friend is not someone who you work to succeed with. That's a colleague. A friend is someone who you can just trust and you can enjoy your time with them. You can't base all your relationships based on success because you're never going to have any deep relationships. For a relationship, whether it's friendship or love, for a relationship to actually deepen, you you have to spend a lot of time together, years to actually earn that trust. It's, very, it's a very slow process. If you change your friends every time you change your goals, then you're not going to have any real friends. You're just going to have associates who don't give a fuck about you. And as soon as you change your goal, they're going to be irrelevant. And as soon as you, you know, have a problem with your life, they're going to leave you behind. Stop, stop associating friends with success, okay? Network is success. Colleagues, associates, that's success. But friends, they don't have to have the same goals as you. They don't have to be successful or anything to be your friends. That's a manipulative way to view the world, to view human relations, And it's the same with girls. If you are willing to change your girlfriend every time you can get a better option than your girlfriend, then you're never going to have a family because there there will always be better and better options as you move up in life. It's not about the best options out there. It's about the options you can trust. That's human relations. There will always be better people than your friends. There will always be better people than your girlfriend. There will always be better people than the people in your family. But you can't trust them most of the time. You can't trust these better people because you've not worked hard to build a relationship with them over the years. The final point of this video I want to make is just stop listening to people trying to destroy your friendships. Don't isolate yourself. It's the worst thing you can do for your improvement journey. Please just keep the people around you who you can trust, who respect you, 
who are supportive of you. Keep these people around you. Regardless of whether they're successful or whether they have the same goals as you. Goals and success, all these things are relative. They'll change many times over the course of your life. But if you change your human relationships every time with your goals, then you become a chameleon. You never have deep relationships. Don't have this mentality, otherwise you end up alone. If you found value in this video, then join the movement. Become a purposeful man. Achieve self-realization, motherfucker. Join a movement. And remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless. Oh, and if you want coaching, then check out the link in the description. And there's also a Discord server. And I'm also recording a vlog right now. Shouts out to the vlog. Hell yeah, let's go.